Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 and this video I present the Blue Origin slash Northrop slash Lockheed Martin slash whoever else is involved with this lunar lander and uh, this is a model I made. I took some liberties on the textures after all uh, we aren't entirely sure how it's all going to be but I think it's turned out pretty well. The thrusters were an immense annoyance. Uh, taking a look at the ascent stage, you can see there are 36 different RCS thrusters. <laughs> and that was painful. Uh, placing the actual RCS thruster vectors for those was painful indeed. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much actual tankage volume the ascent stage has because it's sort of covered up. Uh, there are tanks in there, but we don't know how much space they take up actually. Uh, I've made a reasonable estimate. I know the upper bounds. Uh, definitely it can't go beyond a certain amount. And uh, I know the lower bounds because otherwise we wouldn't have enough delta V. Uh, so the upper bounds is also partly due to how much fuel we have in the descent stage here. Uh, that we can see the tanks so it, uh, it can be a little bit more than this I sort of assume that the tanks only have 86% utilization you know the same usual amount so I took the volume of the tanks and then multiplied by 0.86 to get how much fuel that stage has so we're pretty good there um, this uh, well I gave it as much as I could while still retaining enough in the descent stage so that I can descend but maybe the descent stage is supposed to have more and we should under uh, have less fuel up here it's possible this is more than we need to make orbit around the moon again altogether you can see it's 25 tons right now I think that's reasonable um, we'll talk more about it inside the VAB I'll take it apart and put it together again but I wanted to show you I fixed I figured out how to do the hatch sort of um, so I fixed the Dynetics one too, but I've still got a bit of a slidey problem. <laughs> Fortunately, there's actually a collider on this platform, so the Kerbal can stand here. Uh, and the Kerbal can maybe make the Kerbal's way up. It is uh, obviously a bigger hatch than the Kerbal would normally have. I don't know, maybe it can the Kerbal not board? Okay, oh no, there, uh, what? Oh, board. Uh, maybe while the Kerbal's moving, the Kerbal can't board, I guess. That's how it is. All right, so the Kerbal can board again. The IVA view is just the Mark 1-3 pod, so I haven't done anything with that. Um, yeah, so we will try and launch it to orbit so that I can make sure that the decoupling and RCS all works properly. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to land on the moon because I don't know. I think it'll need two launches to land on the moon because if you take a look at 25 tons, even a hydrolock stage would have to be fairly hefty in order to push this to the moon. And I, uh, of course, I don't have the... It has its own little special stage for that I haven't made yet. So uh, that uh, transfer stage, the third stage for this mission, I haven't made. So I'll do that later. <laughs> That's... Uh, That'll be an additional thing, but let's take a look at the VAB and see what we've got here. So to find the parts, because I will link these in the video description and I'll link the Dynetics Lander too. And you'll type in Blue Origin for, in this case, that's just the simplest tag. Uh, I, I don't know what they're calling it, Integrated Lunar Lander or something like, Lunar Vehicle, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we've got a Lunar Cabin. It's actually smaller than the NX one, and I don't know how they figure. I mean, it it, it you, you got standing room for four people basically, and I was generous about how big I made this. I took a look at the uh, at comments on NASA spaceflight.org, and they were estimating how uh, sorry .com, and they were estimating how big it was, and I've made it a little bit bigger than that. It's a little bit. I mean, it's tough to estimate because there are a lot of artist conceptions of it, and those are inconsistent. But I thought this was fair enough. And still, uh, if we get the Dynetics one... So this will be lighter than the Dynetics one, but this is the Dynetics Lunar Cabin by comparison. You can see, eh, it's roughly the same, actually. 
just the tapering bit makes it a little bit less voluminous. That's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, actually, uh, maybe a more interesting comparison will be the Apollo Lunar Module. Now, the thing you have to remember about the Lunar Module is that it's uh, it's got tanks here, right? It's got the Ascent Module tanks built in, so it's actually much less room. So, uh, but of course, it's only supposed to carry two people. But it is true that these are roomier than that is. All right, so back to blue origin uh, the next thing we need is the ascent stage so there's the ILV ascent stage you notice this says blue origin this one doesn't this one doesn't and that one doesn't because these aren't actually made by blue origin you could type in ILV and probably get these parts as well so that's the ascent stage with all of its RCS thrusters solar panel and radiators I took liberties with the radiator panel texture um, that just happened to be a convenient thing. It's more, uh, I think it looks more like insulation than an actual radiator texture. But anyway, um, the BE-7, uh, actually I made separately for the Blue Moon. So it's going to have its own separate folder in the install, just for you to know. Uh, oh, this isn't the BE-7. I've got this ILV Ascent OMS engine. That's what goes here. And there are two nodes here. This one... And then there's one further in. You want the one further in. The one further out is actually for the descent stage to attach. Uh, this is actually an AJ10-190. So you can just use an AJ10-190. And I don't know why I have a decoupler on there. But uh, just in case, I guess. Um, yep. So that stage uh, gets 3,142. But you can underfuel it. It could have more than that. There's actually room for maybe 40% more. And in strictly speaking, for ascent off of the moon, that would be enough. This 2,231. The question is whether you want to go to Lunar Gateway or not. To get to the gateway, you might need more than that. Uh, possibly 90% would be enough for that. So 60% enough for just ascent if we wanted to do that and then the descent stage would end up having more I wonder if uh, so this is the descent stage it has the decoupler built in and so it attaches like this there's no collider on that conical part so it's not gonna explode hopefully <laughs> hopefully and let's see how much uh, given the underfueling of that stage to 60% let me see how much shelter feed it has this is where the BE7 comes in the BE7 this has two of them on the bottom they have special nodes for them Okay, 2,800. Well, that's certainly enough for descent, of course. I was hoping that we would have enough to make orbit and descend, but we don't. So, even with this fully fueled, 2,400 is plenty enough for descent. Now, the legs are splayed too far apart for for fitting on uh, New Glen. So, or, you know, uh, anything else for that matter. But uh, I've made it so that they can retract to that amount. But considering they're supposed to be the whole transfer stage thing, they can't really retract more than this, I don't think. Maybe they can go up in, but I didn't see a good indication of that in the graphics, so I didn't do it. Okay, and then I'm just going to launch this on uh, New Glenn and see what happens as a test. Okay. We're actually standing on the legs. Throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. And up we go. Now, interestingly, the um, Ascent stage uses MMH and Mon 3 for the AJ10190, or whatever you want to call it, OMS engine, or whatever else you like. But um, the. Descent stage also seems to use MMH and Mon 3 for its RCS thrusters, so it has some of that. You can underfuel that. Uh, I judged based on the tanks that they seem to have, but some of that might have been pressurization tanks, so with helium and all. So, depends on how you interpret the tanks they had on the descent stage. This time we're not carrying a very heavy load, so I will re reserve some fuel. 
for the presumed return of the booster onto a barge. Okay, we'll save that much. Separation and ignition. Okay, and shut down. A little bit lopsided, but that'll be fine. We definitely don't have that much Delta V. I think it's because of the double decouplers here that's confusing it. Uh, anyway, let's separate. Okay, that happened cleanly enough. Um, let me activate RC RCS here and forward. Okay, that's good enough. Where's the sun? All right, so what we want is... Oh, I've got to put a docking port on top. Shoot. We need to point the solar panel at the sun, and we are already recharging, so that's good. They are really big solar panels, so... And we need to turn off Smart ASS as we test that. Uh, That's actually more recharged than I thought. I thought I set it to 3... Units, I think it was 3.14 or something. Shouldn't be getting more than that. So I'll have to look into that. But it's not too far off anyway. Um, it's not like it's getting 100 or something. Okay, so now let me just... Well, let's see. Are we at a good time for moon transfer using the descent stage and the ascent stage? I don't know. Let's just go with that. I didn't put MLI layers on. Should have probably done that. This one's not cryogenic. This one is. Okay, we do have power draw at the nighttime side. That's nominal. I've put the 28 days for 4 crew, but once again, I can't imagine 4 crew actually staying in there for 28 days. Okay, and ignition. Okay. Well, we'll see if we bump into our previous stage. <laughs> um, we're aiming pretty close to it. Let me see. Um, 45 meters. 45 meters away. We we're okay. So, landing gear splayed. We saw it standing on the landing gear properly on the launch pad, so that's fine. And we've got some light. So once again, uh, the sizing of the crew cabin was partly due to the size of the docking port, which they showed on the graphic, and the docking port just about fits this, just like I worked it with the Dynetics lander. And so that was one of the bases for the scale here. I thought it made the foil look a little bit more metallic, but it's turned out quite icy. I'm still trying to figure out Substance Painter though, that's where this was textured in. And I definitely have not leveraged all of its capabilities properly. Okay, let's see that the Descent Stage can decouple properly. Yep, that's pretty smooth, Nice, nicely off, didn't kill the engine or anything. Alright, uh, we will activate the RCS here. All right, interesting. Well, I guess those don't need to fire. Okay, and ignition. Ooh, that plume is a little bit low. I'll try and fix that. Though, you can use any other AJ-10-190 and it'll work too. Okay, I mean, the thrusters seem to work fine. And shut down. We didn't really aim properly for any particular orbit, uh, though it looks like this is the ascending though, that's not great. But we can do a make course adjustment, sort of bring it down. 
I want to fly by the moon because uh, I was told that I had a texture issue and I need to take a look at it. Somebody had asked how I got the moon textures the way they were in my previous video and it turns out the answer is I probably had them wrong. Um, that is not how they're supposed to look. They're supposed to look much more boring. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, we'll see. This is not the way I need to do this. Now, which preset orientation is correct? So sun, sun is this going to be sun forward? Oh, sun forward is good enough for sure. All right, sun forward it is. Oh no, the game crashed. Okay, well, unfortunately my game crashed because I put too many things in my install. So anyway, we've tested out the, sy uh, the systems. So what works, works. And I'll zip everything up for you in a zip file and Dropbox and they'll be in the video description and I'll put the Dynetics Lander there too. And we'll have to check on the moon textures another time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.